<laughs> you guys don't mess about these. <laughs> Posted that tutorial last night for the CF card. <laughs> Already got messages during it. Anyway, um, somebody's having a few problems. Not with the process, with after the process, which one is the copper effect. And sometimes the copper effect will only work with the onboard graphics of your Amiga. If you've got an accelerator card or anything like that, as far as I know, it don't work, especially if you change the resolution. So you'll get that error message come up at the top every time it loads up. Every time you first start your Amiga, it'll come up in copper effect missing or something, active file. I can't remember all the messages. Anyway, the way to fix that, to get rid of it, go into your system file. And you're looking for Workbench WB Startup. You go in there. There's a free will there at the minute, but just before it, there'll be copper, a file called copper. Just click on it once, and then right click, and then drop down to delete, delete it. Soft restart, and then once it's restarted, that message won't appear again. That's how you get rid of that message, that annoying message that comes up. You can tell you accelerate the card out. <laughs> you run a game. So we go to iGames, so we'll start up iGames, we'll run in, just run a game, so this one's, this one's campaign 2, now it seems like it's loading, but then that happens, DOS error 205, now what it's saying is it can't find a kick file, right, so it'll come up with DOS error 205, object not found, I'm reading devs kick, kick start, kick 34005.a500, can't find it. Right. Now what it's looking for, it's looking for one of your ROM files. Now if you're thinking, well, we've just transferred all those kick files from it. SKIC386, I think it is. Yeah, SKIC386.LHA. Yeah, you have. But they're old files. So you need to update some of them. Now to get rid of this message, because the game won't start without you fixing it, quit that. Or quit that. I'm on Win, win I'm on Win UAE at the minute. This is if you've got a if you're doing it on a 600 or a 1200, you can fix it by swapping the CF card through the PCMI CIA socket with one of them. What you want to do is you want to find your ROM files. So if you've been to Amiga Forever, you've paid your fee, and you've took the download or the CD or everything. It's full of ROM files, workbench files, and ROM files. They're all your licenses that you've, you've paid for. So they're yours now, they belong to you. So don't be handing them out to people. Or <laughs> free willy nilly. So once you've got them on your, f on your computer, once you've started your Win UAE, you've added your files, you've set, set everything up, you've added your hard drive, you go add directory or archive. P, P. No. Wherever your file is located, all your ROMs. That's where you want to set it to. So I'm just putting it in documents because everything's in documents at the moment. Except for this CF card which is on my desktop. So I could delete it because I don't want it. I had to reinstall the whole thing on there so you can see what it's doing. Because after I finished recording, I set it up as a fully working CF card with all the games. But I fixed everything so I have to delete everything and start again <laughs> this morning so you can see this. Alright, so we've done that. Click OK. Give it a restart because it's already in there. And we'll fire it up. So, first thing you want to open is go into system, go into a folder called devs, and then go into your kickstarts folder. Then you can close everything else down, just leave your kickstarts open. So, we'll put that there. Now, if you remember, it said it can find kick 34005.a500. So if you scroll across, if you go into kick and you, you think, well, it's there, I can see it. Now, ignore the PAT file, the PAT file does nothing. It's your RTB. Right? You've got kick 34005.a500.rtb. Right? Well, it's not looking for that. It's looking for kick 34005.a500.rtb. 
A500. Ignore the dot RTB, but don't think you can just rewrite that and delete that bit, it won't work. Now what that is, that's your ROM. That's a ROM file, that one, for A500. The ROM file is um, uh, Amiga 1.30.A500 ROM. That's what it wants. So those files you got from Amiga Forever. So we'll go into our computer drive. Now, I'm just going to look for that file. Where have I bloody put that? I can't remember where I put that. So if you look, we've got Amiga-OS-130.rom. That's the one it's looking for. But it's a different name. It's looking for kick. But it's this. So what you want to do is make a copy of it. Clone. If you right click on it, select clone. And now it's here. So now what I'm going to do, I'm going to drag that up into my kickstarts. Let it go. Now it's copied up into kickstarts. Close that. Now we need to go and find that file. And larger so we can see. So this is it. This is the one it's looking for. But at the minute it's the wrong name. So if you left click on it once, then right click on it, you down to rename. So we're going to rename that. So rename it kick 3400. Zero zero. Too many for zeros. 34005.a500. That's it. That's all you need to do. Click OK. Now it's there. Kick. Dot A500. Close that. You don't need to restart the system. Go to run. WS to load. iGames. Now, all being well, you've got the right run there, and you've named it correctly. Fingers crossed. It should load. Oh, I say it should. Yeah. Here you go. That's what it was looking for. Unfortunately, the S Kick 386 is the latest. But they're old, so you will have to adjust some. Of them. Some people say, "Oh, some of the games don't work." Well, they do. You just need to rename the kick files. That's all. <coughs> um, yeah, get that. Now you'll get that on other stuff as well, like the four zero zero six eight uh, kick files. They're looking for another ROM, which will be Amiga dash OS dash. I think it's 3.0.rom and then you'll have to do the same to that, you'll have to rename it to what it was looking for so if you've got, you've got a mobile phone take a quick snapshot of what it's asking for and then rename it to that and then put that in your devs kick folder yeah and then the games will start all the time now there's another, another problem <coughs> it's not a problem, well it is a slight problem is you might come across something called NMI auto vector. You've you loaded a game, you're just about to play it, or you're halfway through it, and it'll kick you out. It'll come up with an error message NMI auto vector. What that is, is a non maskable interrupt, generally caused by some hardware that you're running at the same time, or in the background. <coughs> and the, the way to get rid of that is it might happen on probably one game in 20 it might happen one game in five so you, you start the game um, one game does happen occasionally is um, naughty ones it happens on populous as well it doesn't happen on all games oh god I didn't mean to run that right, so you click on the game go to the top right click you've got games Go down to game properties. 
Now, and type in here, no auto vec. Type that in that window there. Hit enter. And click OK. And that. Now, you won't get that message on that game anymore. Now, the simplest way to get rid of NMI auto vec, if you just want to be done with it across the board, go into your system folder, go into S. Now, you're looking for. Um, WHD load prefs dot prefs where we change the uh, quick key friggin how's that button yeah WHD load dot prefs don't click on that now you're looking for a no auto vec down on here so no, no auto vec is it yet and across what it says is ignore unwanted auto vec interrupts what you want. Like I said, the auto vec interrupts. It's hardware related, something's kicking in. So that's what it's doing, it's causing an interrupt. So we'll go across, highlight the N, delete the ex uh, semicolon, exclamation, I keep calling that an exclamation. Mark. Delete the semicolon, go to the top, right click on projects, scroll down, save. That's it. You should never get that error message again. So that's another fix. So, yeah. The other thing with iGames, I forgot to mention yesterday, you probably, most people probably know because you've used iGames. Again, if you go into a game, go into its properties, gives you options to add them to your favourites. So, if you've got like me, on the 1200, 400, 500 games, I don't want to be scrolling through them all, all the time. The games I like, just tick favourite and click OK. Now, when you go into favourites, it is kind of fodder too. I've added it to favourites, got naughty ones, added that to favourites. There's other stuff, last played, see, last played game, there's naughty ones. Most played games, basically all of them. <laughs> Never played games, yeah. Blood Witch. So, you know, that's three main problems that you might come across. I think it was three, wasn't it? I don't know. Anyway, that's how you fix them. Easy fixes. They look complicated. They're not. Just play the video, pause it, do what you have to, what I've just done, pause it again, just keep doing that until you've done it. Simple. Anyway. Good luck with your cards, it's the weekend, so I guess most of you are doing it, some of, you are, some of them were already doing it last night, like I said. <laughs> Two messaged me and said, brilliant, thank you very much, they've got theirs. The other one did it, and he was having those problems, quite a few of them actually. He had the copper, he had straight away, then he had the um, NMI problem, and then on another game, <laughs> he had the ROM problem, so <laughs> a bit unlucky. <laughs> well, I guess the other two guys knew how to fix that problem, so... But anyway, they're the problems how to fix them, if you get them. And then you can just enjoy your card, and just keep filling up with games. Any more problems? Don't ask me. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Don't forget, thumbs up, put down, and subscribe. I'll see you when I've done a proper video. Cheers. <laughs>